the chequered flag is already in position. Le Mans 2000, will this be the first win for Audi? You cross the line, totally exhausted. The entire team went through hell and back. The chequered flag waves, the story is told. It's a wave of emotions. Le Mans was always a different beast. From race to race, it is progress you can feel. The cars advance, the teams become bigger. But in the end, it is you riding a cannonball on wheels down you know, Gia and Mulsan. You are fully alert 100% of the time. Always expect the unexpected, whether you are driver, engineer, mechanic or a race official. It's a massive human effort by the team and everyone involved. And first and foremost, you want to do your team proud out there. Tom Christensen taking seven seconds per lap from the leading car. Unbelievable. Driving at night is really like a dance. You don't see the apex of the corners. You just anticipate the perfect line and trust it. When you're in your zone, there's nothing that beats that feeling. Playing it safe, that was never an Audi thing, and it surely wasn't mine. It's a win again for the Audi team, and they've done it with their new TDI concept. First FSI, the TDI, then hybrid, while some are perfecting the status quo. Others keep on pushing. We always had a different approach to Le Mans. Challenge, develop, reinvent, progress. Don't rest on your laurels. From conventional to hybrid, Le Mans is an event for automotive pioneers, and pioneers they are indeed. Audi wins it again. 13 victories, seven together with Mr. Le Mans, Tom Christensen. What an epic team. You know, I think Le Mans has a message that goes beyond racing. Be progressive, be brave, be determined. Creating the future, we should never stand still.